loot piles, and treasure chests that are both fun and easy to make, and ultra-realistic? Is that possible? It sure is, and that's this week on Tabletop Witchcraft. Hey there, welcome back to Tabletop Witchcraft. This week, we're going to be crafting loot piles and treasure chests with gloss Mod Podge, glitter, and a few other common crafting ingredients. But the key is going to be the consistency that we mix the gloss Mod Podge with the glitter. Real quick on a side note, I got an awesome video, epic, my biggest one to date, coming out next week, and I don't want anybody to miss it. So make sure you tell everybody out there that's into crafting to tune into my channel next week. This week too, but definitely next week along with a really cool announcement about my channel as well. All right, let's get back to these loot piles now. Go grab some crafting materials, and let's get crafting. Okay, so you want to cut a piece of foam three quarters of an inch long by half by half inch. And then go ahead and cut another section the same size, and that's going to be the top of the chest. So add a little arc to that. And can use a knife or a proxon. If you use the proxon, turn the heat down to about a one and a half. Now add some lines here for some wood planks. Okay, now go ahead and take a uh, clay sculpting tool to add some wood grain texture and add that to all the sides. And now continue that wood grain and uh, wood plank work on the lid as well. Now using an X-Acto knife, you want to cut out about a third of the way down into the opening. That way you can uh, fill it with the gold and score that and then use uh, that wood sculpting tool or the clay sculpting tool again to dig those pieces out. They'll pop out real easy. And don't worry about the bottom being rough because you're going to be covering that with the gold so you're not going to be seeing it. And do the same for the lid as well. Now we're going to cut a very small strip of uh, some cardstock for angle pieces. And these are going to be the bracing for the corners of the chest. So you're going to want to cut a bunch of those out. Now you can use a very small dab of super glue, very small amount, otherwise it'll eat through the foam. You could use tacky glue, and you can use that to connect the corners to the chest. Now using the cardboard again, you're going to cut out some rectangular pieces for the hinges to connect the uh, top to the bottom of the chest, and add a few punch holes on each end to simulate nail holes. Now on another chest, we're going to do a broken one here, and it doesn't matter exactly uh, what it looks like. You can tell I didn't want that to happen, but not a big deal. The chest is broken anyway. So go ahead and cut out some jagged section of the chest. That way you can have the gold spilling out onto the base. And you want to cut out a few small sections on the lid as well. Alright, then once it's all set and ready to go, you're going to take some Mod Podge and uh, paint it all up. And now let's do the bases. This is a good technique um, for your miniatures as well, uh, not just for these chest bases. So take some super glue, put it on the whole base, spread it all out. It doesn't have to be perfectly uniform. The bumps here and there are going to make it look like different texture for the dungeon floor that these are going to be resting on. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and grab some baking soda and sprinkle that over the whole thing and let that sit for about 10 minutes before you brush it off. Now you can see the texture here that it leaves pretty well once I dry brush it. 
I first dry brushed it black and then took a light stone color and dry brushed it and then hit it up with a uh, dark wash. It's Nolan Oil from uh, Games Workshop. And then one more light dry brushing of a lighter gray. Um, and that'll be the base that the chests are sitting on. And again, these will make great um, bases for miniatures as well with this uh, method. Now really simple, just a little bit of hot glue. Stick the uh, chest on. And depending on the chest and the orientation of the chest, it's going to determine where you put it on the base. This one's going to have all the gold spilling out in the front, so I place the chest more towards the back of the base. Now we're going to take some chain and painting two thirds of it uh, silver and the other third gold. And we're going to use this in the chest as part of the loot that's sticking out of it. And while that's drying, we're going to go ahead and paint the chest a dark brown. And then dry brush it with a chocolate brown. And then wash that with a Games Workshop Agrax Earthshade. And then once that's dry, we'll hit it with a quick dry brush of a light brown. Okay, now all the hinges and the corner bracing, uh, we're going to hit that up with some uh, Nolan Oil as well. I did these three different colors for each chest, one silver, one more of a gunmetal, and one a brass color. Now we're going to do some edge highlighting to make them stand out. And just keep in mind where the light source is coming from when you do this type of highlighting. Now for the fun part. Gloss, Mod Podge, and Glitter. It's that simple, but the key is the consistency. That was way too much Gloss Mod Podge. You want it to be very crumbly. It's glitter, it's very light. It doesn't require a lot of Mod Podge to hold it together. So you can see this is still too much Mod Podge. So we're gonna add some more glitter and keep adding glitter until you get the right consistency. You almost want it to look dry. Honestly, this could have used more glitter at this stage. Too much Mod Podge, it makes all the gold look like a gold nugget and not a gold pile. Okay, so now we're going to lay this chain in here. Half of the silver out one side and the gold sticking out the other. Held together with a little bit of glue in the middle. Now very gently lay the gold mixture in the chest. You don't want to press it down. If you do that, it's going to flatten out all the coins and that's not what we're going for. Now take some gold and place it a little around the base so it looks like it's spilling out onto the ground. Now we'll put a few gems in the gold pile. If you're curious about all the items I'm using here, the glitter, the gems, it can all be found in the uh, description below for Amazon links. Okay, that's what one of the chests looks like. See how all the, ch the uh, coins look individual? I love that. Now here's where the chest is broken open. Now this is just a bunch of leftover mixture I had here. And you can see how it's very crumbly. It's not a big liquidy mass. And we're not pressing down to form the mound. It's going to settle by itself. So get it to the shape you want. And then uh, go ahead and toss in a few gems in here or there and any other loot that you might want to add. Swords, shields, chalices, anything you want. Scrolls. Now you peel it off the aluminum foil. Parchment paper would have been better, but I didn't have any. 
So you can see how solid that is. It really holds together well. Now just a cool little tip. With these one inch bases, I like to take a little bit of gum tack and place it on a three quarter inch washer and then stick that underneath to add some weight to the uh, base. And then I like to put the date on the bottom of the washer so I know when I finish painted the miniature. If you want to take it a step further, you can put some hot glue over that, uh, fill it in and press it on some parchment paper and then it will seal it in, add more weight and be permanent. So you can see there's way too much gloss Mod Podge. It looks like a solid nugget right here. Then we added some more glitter. Still not great, but it's, you know, a little bit better. But it just looks like one nugget, right? And here's where the proper mixture is. When it settles, you can see each individual piece of glitter. So it looks like each coin. So the key takeaway here, again, is the consistency that you mix that gloss Mod Podge and the glitter together. Make sure too, that when you're making these chests, that they're all not just standing up. Have some split open, have some knocked over, and add some variety to that treasure vault of yours. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any further videos from Tabletop Witchcraft, especially that one coming out next week. Alright, till next time, I'll see you around.